Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to create a flow because we have to show the record summary onto the case page, right? We wanted to look at this record summary that got created based on this prompt template. We want to display that onto the case record page. So the first and the foremost thing is you have to activate this template. So I'm going to go ahead and click on activate here. And then I will go back to my flow here. So I'll go to the setup and uh, we'll open it in a new tab. We'll go to the setup and over here we will say flow and we will create a screen flow okay so we're going to go ahead and go over to the flow here and we'll go to the flows and we'll click on new flow here okay and the type of the flow that we're going to create is a screen flow so through the screen flow we are going to display this record summary start from scratch click next here and that's going to be a screen flow click on create. Now the first thing we're going to do is we are going to fetch the record. So we're going to use get record element here and we will fetch the record based on the record ID. So here I'm going to go to the flow and uh, click on plus here and we'll go to the get records and uh, click on that and here I'm going to say fetch case record by ID that's the API name what type of object we are fetching we are fetching the case object so we're going to go ahead and use get records of this object what is the condition the ID equals to the record ID so here I'm going to create a new resource and it is of the type variable and the API name is record ID and the data type is text and it is available for input and we'll done and we'll pass this ID onto this element okay so what this is going to do is based on the record ID that is passed it is going to fetch that particular case now this case information that we have generally we have the case information that we have fetched now we need to pass over to our prompt right because prompt needs that record ID so here I'm going to use an element called action and the prompt template that I've created will be available under actions. OK, so here I'm going to click on plus again and I am going to call action here and into this action, this particular template is available case summary. Let's say if there is a summary template. So let's look for the word summary and you can see here generate prompt response case summary that particular template is available so I'm going to go ahead and use this template and I'll call this as case summary prompt this is the API name and it is asking set input values for the selected action right so it particular needs the ID right it needs that record from which it is going to fetch the details it's going to fetch the priority it's going to fetch the type all of that so we need to pass that case record and where did we get the case record based on this element so here I'm going to say case that it is fetched from get record element and I'm going to pass that element over to this action very simple so far we created a prompt template that prompt template is of the type record summary and then that all that is doing is creating a summary of the case record based on the critical pieces of information like case priority case subject description etc now we created that record summary now we need to show that record summary onto our case detail page so what I did here is I created a flow in the flow the first element that I've dropped is the get record so I can fetch my case record and that is the case record I need to pass on to this action so whenever you create a template an action also gets created when you created this record summary template an action got created with the same name and I'm invoking that action and onto that action I am passing that case information. So object to summarize this is the information the case information I'm passing and hit save here and we will call this as case record summary flow and then hit save here and then let's add our screen element the screen flow because it's a screen flow right so we're going to add a screen here and we'll call this as screen and over here this is my screen here I'll call this as case summary and uh, over here I'm going to add display text here I'm going to drop the display text and we'll call it as case summary 
and in the resource there is this action it says outputs from case summary so whatever that act response that came from my prompt that is stored under this outputs and that is the prompt response i'm going to deflect onto my screen so the response that came from invoking that prompt template that is what is going to be showed over onto this screen flow very simple here this is my case summary prompt this is what this is the prompt that i am using and from there whatever the response came that is what it we are going to reflect onto our screen flow hit done here and this is ready to rock and roll so this flow is created let me explain to you one more time what this flow is doing so in the first thing what we are doing is we are fetching the case record based on the id so wherever we will drop the flow that is going to have the id of that case record and that id would be passed and based on that id we are retrieving that case information that case information we are passing on to our prompt template so the the prompt template that we created over here you can see here this is your this is your prompt template that we have activated and to this prompt template we are passing this case record okay so whichever the case we fetched from this get record element we are passing over to this action and this is going to give you a response and that is the response i am displaying onto my screen flow very simple i added a display text and onto the display text all i am doing is i am showing the response of that prompt okay so this is the most important thing that action is there and here we are onto this action we are passing in that case that we fetched and then case summary it is nothing but a simple screen element onto that we passed a display text and in the display text we are showing the response that we got from that action okay what is the name of the action case summary prompt is the name of the action and we are getting the response very simple now what we're going to do is we need to drop this flow onto a particular record page right so we'll go over to the case we'll go to the case here and we will click on setup and we'll go to edit page here and uh, here we will look for flow so i'm going to go ahead and look for flow and now i'll drop this flow onto this record page okay so i'm going to go ahead and uh, drop it somewhere here let's say i drop it here and what is the name of the flow you just created the flow right summary let's make sure that okay we have to activate it we didn't activate it that's why it's not available this is the name of the flow case record summary flow so we'll go over to the case we'll go over to the record page here and let's see if we can find it still not make sure you refresh it we reload it because we just activated it right so it's not available yet so now we'll drop the flow again onto this record page so i'm going to cross this and we'll drop the flow somewhere on this page and here i'm going to choose my flow that i created case record summary flow this is the flow that i have and it is going to we're going to do this and we have to pass the record id right so what it needs this flow needs a record id where is this record id going to come from pass the record id into this variable check this checkbox if you don't check it you can pass this record dot of id and it is going to pass the id of the record to the flow and hit save and then activate make sure it is org default it is assign as org default next and save okay so we have activated it now if you go to any case record okay now if i go to any case record let's go to the case record you will see the record summary okay so we are under this case and now you see there is this component got added it is fetching the information based on all these details that are there it is saying case number 10026 is a newly opened case with a high priority status the case type is mechanical specifically concerning issues with the installation of a refrigerator at this time there are no additional comments on the case record the product details are yet to be provided so very simple we got it we got a record summary here it is not being saved anywhere onto a field on the case object just like in field generation a field was being populated here no field is being populated we got this component created and that component we dropped on to our record page okay so this is my case record here so i'll go over to a different case let's say we go to the cases again 
and uh, here we fetch another case let's say we fetch 1029 and let's look at the summary over here so here it says case number 1029 is a new case with high priority status the case type is electronic specifically pertaining to an issue with iphone 12 the customer has reported that their iphone stopped working following an update issue is characterized by a blank screen on the device no additional comments have been recorded for this case the product in question is gc1060 so it kind of gave you a summary of this whole record now rather than glancing through each and every field you got a particular area we can just look at that and it kind of give you a summary of that record okay so what we did was first important thing is we created a template which is of the type record summary in that template we are asking the prompt we are putting a prompt here saying provide me a summary of the record using the information so using description priority type etc so it kind of gives a summary of the record and you have passed in the critical information that it, you wanted to look at then what we did was we created a flow and in it's a screen flow we created and onto that screen flow we have passing in the response of that prompt okay so in the display text all we are doing is what is the response that came from the prompt we are showing it with the help of screen flow so this is all about record summary template i hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial i'm going to see you in the next video thank you